BuzzEdit allows you to create a custom hoop layout for multiple hooping your embroidery design. The dimensions of the design is displayed in the lower right corner of the BuzzEdit window. The software will use this information to help you calculate a layout. In the Hoop Properties dialog, the available hoops are displayed and you may choose to use any of these by selecting the hoop for your machine and clicking OK to have the new hoop displayed. If you do not have this hoop and want to stitch this design in more than one hooping using a hoop that you do own, you would select Create Custom Hoop. The available single position hoops are listed along with the design dimensions. Choose your hoop and the program automatically calculates the number of rehoopings necessary for your selection. Click OK to view your new layout in the hoop list and click OK to use the selected hoop. This layout would require the design to be split and stitched in two hoopings with many repeated thread changes. You may edit the custom hoop layout, add more hoops, and allow the program to auto-calculate the new values. This will create the same overall dimensions using one more hoop. In this new layout, our middle hoop flag contains the entire wolf and eagle. If stitched together, there is nothing to match and no redundant thread changes at the machine. Now that the layout is created, we need to create the design sections that the machine will stitch using the method of your choice. Use the Sew Simulator to learn the stitch order of the design. I select the wolf and eagle in time and drag and drop them into the middle hoop. Double-click on the word Please to select the unassigned stitches so that you can see them in space. What is left is easy to split using the Slice tool. To see the boundary of the hoop sections, click on its name in time to see its red boundary in space. Use the Slice tool to create the slicing line through the open space and across the stitches. Hit Enter to bring up the dialog with the slice settings you have selected. Process the slice and move the highlighted stitches to the correct hoop in time. The red boundary should encompass all of the stitches shown in color in space. Double click on the word Please to select the remainder of the stitches and move them to their hoop in time. To reorder the hoops, double-click on the name of the hoop you wish to move. This will select all of the stitches. To select the hoop flag as well, hold down the control key on your keyboard and hit the left arrow key one time. You can now drag this entire hoop section in time to change the stitching order of the hoops. Insert the alignment stitches so that we can line the design up at the machine. This is done from the Buzz Tools Multi Hoops Insert Alignment Stitches dialog. Be sure to choose a unique color so that the machine will stop after stitching this alignment line. You may also add basting stitches at this time if you wish, again choosing a different color. The final step is to save your work so that the software will create an A, B, and C files that you will stitch at the machine. Be sure to stitch them in this order.